It's one of the biggest things in the universe, and yet we don't really know if it even exists. It's called dark matter. Scott Kravitz, an associate professor with the University of Texas, is joining us today to discuss the search for dark matter and why they're looking specifically for WIMPs. So, Scott, what is dark matter and why are we looking for it? So, if we look out into the cosmos, we find that our observations of things, distant stars and galaxies, uh, can't be explained by the visible matter in the universe. There's just not enough gravity to keep things in orbit based on what we can see. So there has to be a lot of extra additional invisible matter keeping everything bound. And that's what we call dark matter. And you recently did an experiment to observe dark matter and some of the related properties, specifically something called WIMPs here on Earth. So what was the experiment? What did you find? What were the results? So I work on the Lux Zeppelin experiment. It's an international collaboration of a couple of hundred scientists um, across institutions across the world. We have a really big particle detector um, filled with seven tons of this element called liquid xenon that we put a mile deep in a, in a mine in South Dakota. So we put it in this really quiet environment, far removed from background interactions so that we can see even the slightest hint of dark matter interactions in our detector. And one of these particles you're looking at are these WIMPs, these weakly interacting massive particles. This one you're trying to find, right? So it does have some mass, uh, but it interacts very weakly with, with normal matter. That's where the name comes from. And our detector is specifically uh, the best in the world at looking for this class of dark matter candidates, WIMPs, um, across a wide range of particle masses, different types of particles. And what did you find in the experiment? What were the results? So we've been taking data since around the end of 2021. We did a very careful analysis, and so far we haven't found any hints of dark matter in the form of WIMPs in our data. It's actually really important to make these uh, observations because it tells us something very important. It tells, it rules out certain types of dark matter theories that are no longer consistent with our data. Well, I wish you luck. Scott, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thanks very much, Eric.